This is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys my current favorites. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. I will be showing you five things that I basically wear almost every day. I'm gonna start off with this pair of earrings. I recently got this from a vintage thrift store. I only paid about $10 on this one. I actually like it so much because it's something that could elevate my plain look just like this outfit and um, I like that it is an actual vintage earring. This is a vintage earring that I got from an actual vintage store in Old Town OC or Orange Circle, Old Town Orange Circle and this is actually a, what do you call this thing? A clip-on style earring. I like it because it's very convenient and the quality is still really good given the fact that this is just $10. I'm a sucker for vintage earrings and that place is my actual go-to place if I'm running out of vintage earrings to wear. <laughs> On to the next item. This is my most worn perfume and this is the Jo Malone Wild Bluebell perfume. I got this three months ago if I'm not mistaken and um, I'm obsessed with this one because it has a subtle scent and apparently this is the same exact perfume that Kate Middleton wears. I don't wear a lot of perfume, but if I do, it's something that's subtle or more on the floral notes. I used to love vanilla, amber, or the musk perfume scent, but I don't know, signs of aging maybe. I just don't appreciate them as much as before. So that's why this is my go-to perfume because it's really subtle and you don't even need a lot. The reason why it's still full <laughs> because I try to maximize it. I only spray like one spray in my palm and then I rub it all over my skin and my clothes and that's why it still looks new even though I've been using this for three months now. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> it's my first ever Jo Malone and I'm so happy because I got the scent that I want and I will definitely get another one if I do find a scent that I love. So the next item is this super cute lace specs sunglasses. I got this online. I got this from the lace specs website and I've been looking for a nice retro looking sunglasses that is feminine. I used to wear those big square framed sunglasses but I realized it doesn't really suit my face and it just doesn't go well with my style. <laughs> Especially I'm into vintage slash retro clothing. It was actually on sale when I purchased this and it has this nice emerald green color which is pretty unique. I've never owned any green pair of sunglasses before. I mean, this is just $37. I mean, look at it. It's so nice. So my next favorite is this beautiful Charles and Keith Gabin saddlebag. And this one is the green color. And I'm pretty sure you know that this has been discontinued for quite a while now. I remember seeing this first time online last year and um, I didn't end up buying this. Instead, I bought the brown one. I realized that the green one is actually really pretty. It was in brand new condition through Poshmark and I paid a decent price. I've been wanting this color and this is the only green color in my bag collection. I love this bag so much. We are now down to the last item and this is my most favorite item of all time. I've been eyeing on this watch for months ever since the Queen's Gambit was released on Netflix. Beth Harmon was wearing this watch. Christmas came and uh, my husband decided to gift me something and he gifted me this Bolova. Uh, this is the Bolova and this is actually an original style from the 1950s. If I'm not mistaken, 1950s or 1960s, I need to read again. They made it almost exactly the same as the original one. And this is something that I will keep 
forever. <laughs> and there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I will put the link in the description box below for all the products that I mentioned. Hope you enjoy this. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe. Bye! Inside your